This quarter, the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division has been chosen to receive your 13th Sabbath offering. The offering will go to further the work in the countries of Madagascar, Namibia, and South Africa. The selected projects will focus on education and frontline mission outreach, both of which are major emphases of the worldwide mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division has over 2.7 million members and was formed in 2002 when the church split the continent of Africa into three divisions. The church has seen tremendous growth here, but there are still areas where millions of people do not know the message of a loving Savior. The first project we will look at is in the country of Madagascar. Madagascar is a large island off the eastern coast of the African continent. Its climate varies from jungles to arid plateaus, and its people are mostly farmers who work very hard to make a living. Madagascar is one of the poorer countries in this division and faces many challenges. One of the projects that your offering will support is expansion of the Adventist University Zurcher, or AUZ, Currently, the school is home to an elementary and secondary school, as well as a small university campus that teaches business, education, nursing, computers, and theology. Classes are taught in both French, the local language, and English. The school has changed many lives, not only the students, but those that visit as well. One of these is a young man named Romain who came to AUZ for a summer internship on the school's farm. As he was introduced to who Adventists are and what they believe, he started to study the Bible and was soon baptized. When he finishes his agricultural degree at the public university he attends, he plans on returning to AUZ to study theology. His story is just one example of how the university is transforming lives into disciples for Christ. A portion of this quarter's offering will go to build a new classroom building so that that school can expand its academic offerings and increase the number of students that they can train. Dr. Davidson is the outgoing president of the university. The mission of AZ is very simple. It's just to train students for the service of the Lord and prepare them also for the life to come. The country of Namibia is located on the western coast of the African continent between the countries of South Africa and Angola. Namibia is home to several national parks and game preserves that showcase some of the most impressive examples of God's gift of nature. Lions, elephants, zebras, and antelope are just a few examples of his creation. It is truly breathtaking to be able to see these magnificent creatures up close and in person, even if it isn't the most appetizing sight. <laughs> Namibia is also home to the Himba tribe. This people group lives in the northern part of Namibia, near the border with Angola. For the Himba, life hasn't changed much for the past hundred years. They live in small family villages out in the middle of the Namibia desert, living off what they can grow and the livestock that they raise. They live a simple life, even down to their fondness for minimal clothing. The church has worked for years to try to reach the Himba tribes, but until recently, it has not been very successful. Now, a joint project between the General Conference and Adventist Frontier Missions has created an entering wedge into the Himba society. The church plans on using God Pods, solar-powered audio players, to share the gospel with the Himba. Missionaries from Adventist Frontier Missions have discovered that using local Himba traditional storytelling and adapting it to the gospel can reach the Himba. Your 13 Sabbath offerings will help to produce Bible stories in the local Himba dialect that can then be shared via the God Pods. With your prayerful support, 
Soon thousands of these devices will be spreading the good news to people that had previously been impossible to reach. Gideon Peterson has worked among the Himba for more than 15 years and describes what it was like when he shared an audio message with a village elder. To see the desire within him to, to be able to hear God's voice for himself, you know, at the end of that evening, I mean, we went late into the night, he just says, you know, this is, this is what my people have been longing for. And um, that really pulls on your heartstrings. <laughs> Our final project is in the country of South Africa, in a small town called Ingwavuma, which is located near the borders of Mozambique and Swaziland. Several years ago, two global mission pioneers came here and planted a small group. Since then, this group has grown into a church and now has more than 80 members. One of them is a small girl named Nakwanda. She lives with her grandmother and cousin since her mother works in another town far away. Nakwanda loves to learn about the stories in the Bible, her favorite being the life of Jesus when he was a young boy. When Nakwanda attends church, she has to meet under a tree by the side of the road. The community building that the Ingwavuma church uses is too small for all the children to meet inside when the adults are meeting. The children love to learn about Jesus and to sing songs about serving Him. This quarter, the 13th Sabbath offering will not only build a new church for the members in Ingwavuma, but will also provide a place where the children can meet and invite their friends to learn as well. The church members in Ingwavuma are passionate about their newfound faith and are eager to have a new church so they can expand their small church and reach out to the people in their community. Please pray for the members in Ingwavuma and remember them when you are giving your mission offering this quarter. As you can see, the needs and the challenges that face the church in the Southern African Indian Ocean Division are great, but they can be overcome. People can be reached with the good news of Jesus and lives can be changed. Please pray for the millions of people that live here and need to be touched by Him. Thank you for your faithful support of the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church around the world. To find out more about missions, please visit AdventistMission.org.